We got nine minutes to do this shit. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Vivini D, and today I am joined by my good friend Alex or Bangkok or D20. You know who the fuck is. We shaved his fucking chest. You know who this guy is. Get up here, Alex. Hi, how are you? All right. So basically, what we're gonna be doing today is uh, with the WWE bleh, with the WWE brand split coming up. We are going to do our own sort of raw draft on WWE 2K15, fuck you, I'm poor, I didn't feel like getting 16. So basically, we already decided before this that I'm going to be in charge of SmackDown, and he's going to be in charge of Raw, and because he got to be in charge of Raw, I got the first pick, and with my first pick, I'm going to be choosing Shawn Michaels. I hope I spelled this right. I think the E goes before the A, but uh, it's fine. Well, that is an interesting pick, but... Uh, I'm gonna go with my man, the Brahma Bull, the Rock. Oh, good pick. But I'm gonna be choosing the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, as my second pick. And also to just clarify something, in 2K15 there are multiple of each superstar, and we decided which of the two superstars we we're gonna pick. So if you're ever wondering why these wrestlers look weird or different from what's in the game, you'll understand why. Well, it's interesting because you picked those two uh, on your team, and they're actually both legends, so I'm going to pick the legend killer, Randy Orton. Now, you bring up a good point about me picking just legends so far, so with my third pick, I'm going to go with the lunatic fringe and the hometown boy, graduated from our high school, Dean Ambrose. I mean, Dean Andrews is kind of a badass, but I'm going to take the original badass, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep investing in this young talent by picking the architect of the shield, Seth Rollins. I mean, I don't know if you've been watching Raw lately, but he's trying to be the face of uh, WWE. I'm going to go with the face of WWE right now anyway, John Cena. You know, I've already got two of them, so I might as well just round it out. My next pick being Roman Reigns. With uh, the way Raw is being shaped nowadays, it's all built on rivalry. So I'm going to go with CM Punk. Nice little rivalry with John Cena and Randy Orton. And The Rock. You know what, I've, I've picked a few young guns recently, so I'm going to go back to the, one of the classics and pick The Ultimate Warrior. Because it breaks my heart that he's not wrestling anymore. I'm going to go ahead and put him on my show, Daniel Bryan. I'm going to go ahead and pick someone that should still be undefeated at WrestleMania and pick The Undertaker. That, that's a that's an interesting uh, statement you just made there that should be undefeated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick the guy that beat him at WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar. You know, Brock Lesnar is an interesting pick because he's a uh, very muscular and very big, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the King of Kings, the Cerebral Assassin, Triple H. You know, I, as much as I like craziness, um, this is going to be a really good pick for my team. I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Ray Wyatt. Uh, Ray Wyatt's a pretty solid pick. I'm going to go ahead and have to go with the biggest little man in WWE history and Ray Mysterio. Kind of mixed it up on me. Kind of went high-flying there. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the uh, one of the legends of extreme one of the pretty much innovators of extreme wrestling with rvd nice pick i think i'm going to go ahead and uh go with one of ray's old tag team partners in batista um batista that's an interesting pick as well i'm going to go with a man that's feuded with batista quite a few times with chris Jericho. I think I'm going to go ahead and jump it right back into the high-flying action of Adrian Neville, the man that gravity forgot. You know what? I think this guy could beat pretty much anybody on your roster. Just feed him more. I'm going to go with Ryback. 
I like to mention him, but can he beat the five time, five time, five time, five time, five time WCW champion Booker T? You know, I'm going to be racist here. I'm going to pick another black guy, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next I'm taking the Swiss Superman and Cesaro. That is an S. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this in under here real quick. Let's do a Jey Uso. You know I'm gonna go ahead and pick Damien Sandow. Alright, alright. You can't have a good brand without a good tag team division, so I'm gonna go with Jimmy Uso as well. You speak, of, you speak of tag team, so I already have Damian Sandow. Now let's go with The Miz. I'm going to go ahead and go with Wade Barrett. You know what? Maybe I think I'm going to form one of the all-time best tag team in the Brothers of Destruction by picking Kane. I'm going to go with the guy that's treated with Kane quite a few times. Uh, used to be in a group with this man right here, with Cody Rhodes. Former legacy. Alright, next I'm gonna go ahead and go with the man that's probably gonna enter himself on the first night, Kevin Nash. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the young gun here. Uh, he surprised me quite a bit um, in actual WWE with uh, Sami Zayn. Alright, my next pick is gonna have to be one of the most underrated high flyers in Justin Gabriel. No, I'm going to switch it up on us a little bit. I'm going to go with the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. But since you're picking a big, strong black man, I'm going to go with a big, <laughs> strong black man I know, and Big E Langston. If we're staying with big man, might as well get the biggest one in WWE. I'm going to go with Big Show. Alright. I've got nothing to counter that, so I'm going with Corey Graves. <laughs> Got some cool tattoos. You know, I do have one thing and you know, one guy to uh, counter that as well. Um, Titus O'Neil, another strong guy. Strong black man that don't need no woman. Alright, next pick, I'm gonna pick someone that used to be known as Michael McGillicuddy, and I'm gonna be picking Curtis Axel. I'm gonna go with Darren Young. I really don't hear about him too much anymore. Uh, he's known as the Black John Cena in my eyes. Yeah, next pick I'm going to pick probably one of the greatest sellers in WWE history and pick Dolph Ziggler. Alright. Doesn't Dolph kind of sound like Russian? Like the name Dolph? Sure. Okay, well I'm going to go with Rusev because he definitely sounds fucking Russian. Okay. My next pick is the Dancing Man, Fondango. Might as well round it out with uh, Bray Wyatt here. I'm going to go with Luke Harper. I'm going to wrap this up. Alright, and my next pick is going to be Jack Swagger, an All-American American. I'm going to go with R-Truth. Alright, and all because I'm running out of uh, space on my phone, we fucking pre-did this. So my next few picks are William Regal, Alberto Del Rio, Sheamus, and Santino Morella. I got R-Truth. Eric Rowan, Bo Dallas, Xavier Woods, and of course, Four Bucks. There you see the entirety of our rosters, my SmackDown roster in blue, and Alex's Raw roster in red. And don't be deceived, they're the same amount of people, I just uh, have awful handwriting. Yeah, that's the 28 man roster, and I hope you guys are going to be excited for the first episode of our WWE Draft Wars. We'll see you guys there.